Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Cube root of x plus 1 plus cube root of x plus 2 plus cube root of x plus 3 is equal to 0. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. By using this algebraic identity, if we have if a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed will be equal to 3 times a b c. In this equation we have this cube root of x plus 1 as a, this cube root of x plus 2 as b and this cube root of x plus 3 as c means that uh, we have this form a plus b plus c is equal to 0. So we can write uh, this expression in this form. So this will become cube root of x plus 1 and we take cube plus uh, cube root of x plus uh, 2 and we take cube plus uh, cube root of x plus uh, 3 and we take cube is equal to 3 times uh, cube root of we can write uh, the product of uh, these three cube roots uh, under one cube root. So we write this uh, x plus 1 x plus uh, 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now this cube will be considered with this cube root, this cube will be considered out with this cube root and this cube will be considered out with this cube root. Left hand side we are left with x plus 1 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 3 is equal to the right hand side remains the same 3 times cube root of x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now this x plus x plus x will become 3 times x plus this 1 plus 2 3 plus 3 will become 6 is equal to 3 times cube root of x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now from the left hand side we can factor out 3. 3 as common factor in bracket left x plus 2 is equal to 3 times cube root of x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now we divide both sides by 3. So this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and we are left with x plus 2 is equal to cube root of x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 and to remove this cube we take a cube of both sides left hand side we take cube. So this cube will be considered with this cube root and we write this x plus 2 cubed x plus 2 whole cubed is equal to at right hand side we are left with x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. 
Now we can rewrite this x plus 2 whole cube as x plus 2 whole squared times x plus 2. And we move this expression to the left hand side. This will become negative x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. And you can see that this x plus 2 is a common factor. So we factor out this x plus 2. And in bracket left, in bracket left this x plus 2 whole squared minus x plus 1 times x plus 3. In bracket left x plus 2 whole squared minus x plus 1 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. Next x plus 2 times we expand this x plus 2 whole squared according to this algebraic identity if we have a plus b whole squared this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so this x plus 2 whole squared will become x squared plus 4 times x plus 4 minus we expand these two terms x times x will become x squared x times 3 will become plus 3 times x and 1 time x plus x 1 time 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 further simplify this will become x plus 2 times this expression x squared plus 4 times x plus 4 minus x squared 3x plus x will become plus 4 times x plus this 3 is equal to 0. Further simplify this will become x plus 2 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 4 negative times x squared will become negative x squared negative times 4x will become negative 4x and negative times 3 will become negative 3 is equal to 0. This negative 4x will be cancelled out with this positive 4x and this x squared will be cancelled out with this negative x squared and we are left with x plus 2 times this 4 minus 3 will become 1 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 times 1 x plus 2 is equal to 0 move this 2 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to negative 2 this is the final answer of this problem Now let's verify and see that whether this solution is valid or not. To verify we use the original equation that is cube root of cube root of x plus 1 plus cube root of cube root of x plus 2 plus cube root of cube root of x plus 3 is equal to 0. We replace every x with the negative 2 so this will become cube root of negative 2 plus 1 plus cube root of negative 2 plus 2 plus cube root of negative 2 plus 3 is this equal to 0. And this will become cube root of negative 2 plus 1, negative 1. Plus cube root of negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Plus cube root of negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Is this equal to 0? 
एंड क्यूब रूट ऑफ नेगेटिव वन इज नेगेटिव वन प्लस क्यूब रूट ऑफ जीरो इज जीरो प्लस क्यूब रूट ऑफ वन इज वन इज दिस इक्वल टू जीरो एंड नेगेटिव वन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो यू कैन सी दैट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू द राइट हैंड साइड विच मीन्स दैट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नेगेटिव टू इज अ वैलिड सोल्यूशन 